having an MRI scan for research, what happens? Ali is volunteering for a scientific study at the Department for Imaging Neuroscience. This involves having an MRI scan. A researcher has already spoken to Ali to check that they are suitable for an MRI scan at our department. Before Ali goes into the MRI scanner, they meet with the radiographer who will carry out the scan. The radiographer carries out a safety screening by asking Ali some important questions. Firstly, do you have a cardiac pacemaker? No. Okay, great. Most pacemakers are suitable for hospital MRI scanning, but our research centre has even stricter rules, so we have to check carefully. I've had an MRI scan before. Do I need to do the safety screening again? Yes. There are different types of MRI scanners and MRI examinations. Each hospital or research centre needs to check themselves that you meet their particular safety rules. I need to ask a few more questions before we continue. Have you had any previous operations, especially ones where doctors may have put screws, clips or any other medical devices into your body? I haven't had any operations. Why do you need to know? Well, the MRI scanner uses a large magnet, which is always on. The magnet is very strong, so we need to check there is nothing in or on your body which could be affected by the magnet. For example, anything metallic. Next question. Can you tell me if you have any tattoos? I don't. But why do you ask? The MRI scanner uses waves that are similar to the ones made by a radio. They are safe to humans, but they can cause surgical implants and some types of tattoos to warm up in the scanner. We need to make sure nothing in or on your body gets too hot. OK, sounds good. Am I ready to go in now? Wait. Remember the magnet? Before we go into the scanner room, we need to check if you have anything on your body or in your pockets. Many metal objects could be pulled towards the magnet. We'll keep these safe in a locker. OK, let's go in the scanner room. What are these for? During the MRI scan, you need to wear ear protection, like earplugs or special headphones. Why? Will it be noisy? Yes. It's noisy because we use additional smaller magnetic fields during the scan. These are called field gradients. We switch them on and off to work out where in the brain the signal is coming from. Switching the gradients on and off causes banging sounds that you hear when you're in the scanner. These can be very loud, so we give everyone ear protection. Here is an example of the types of sounds you may hear in the scanner. If I'm having a brain scan, will only my head go into the scanner? No. We collect the clearest images right at the centre of this magnet. This means that most of your body will go into the scanner, so that your head is close to the centre. We also give you a special helmet that detects the signal. This has a mirror that allows you to see a screen placed inside the scanner. We also measure your heart rate with a sensor on your finger. Can I move around while I'm in the scanner? No. We need you to stay as still as possible, please. This is because MRI is like a camera. If you move while the photo is being taken, the picture becomes blurry. This is similar for MRI. If you move during the scan, the quality of the image won't be as good. We give you a call bell that's with you throughout the scan. You can squeeze this at any time if you feel uncomfortable. We talk to you and can stop the scan at any time. Now you are ready to go in. The radiographers performing the scan can see you and talk to you from the control room. They will let you know when the scan is going to finish and will come to help you out of the scanner. After your scan, you should feel well and happy to go about your day. Our team will always be glad to help if you have any concerns. Thank you to Ali and all our volunteers at the Department for Imaging Neuroscience. The research we do would not be possible without your contribution. With the help of MRI, our neuroscience research teams investigate brain structure and function and how they relate to our behaviour, thoughts and feelings.